to you, but we'll move on to the, the point that I was just making there. And I think the perhaps lack of understanding about how you view crypto, specifically Bitcoin, relative yeah. to markets. A safe haven or a hedge doesn't yeah. necessarily have to be rising when markets go down. Yeah, I think a lot of people confuse safe haven and non-correlation, right? And so a non-correlated asset just means that the value drivers are different, right? You see stocks or uh, other assets in the traditional markets are driven by GDP, interest rates, uh, etc. Bitcoin's not driven by that. Bitcoin is a artificially capped uh, supply asset um, that's driven by demand. And demand continues to increase. And so over time, you expect supply and demand economics to play out. So sometimes you could have... Bitcoin rising when markets rise, sometimes it could go down. That's positive correlation. It can also be negative, but what you're saying is, remember what the drivers are here and they're different things. Absolutely, Bitcoin over a long period of time has been a non-correlated asset. Um, and what I think is exciting about that is when we see times of global instability, geopolitical uncertainty, uh, things like coronavirus, et cetera, uh, stocks, bonds, gold, et cetera, kind of do what you expect them to do. Bitcoin doesn't do that. And so the fact that it doesn't go up is not bad. It's actually, it's a non-correlated asset. So it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do for your portfolio, which is exactly why we think investors should have it in their portfolio. Critics would say, though, that, hang on a second, you're telling me to add it to my portfolio. Surely I want it to be doing sort of the opposite thing when, when yep. markets are going down. Yep. Again, as long as it is preserving your wealth uh, or increasing it, that non-correlation makes it a safe haven asset, right? You don't want to have everything in your portfolio have the same value drivers. Uh, that non-correlation actually reduces the overall risk of the portfolio. Bitcoin has served that purpose for many, many years now. We think that it will continue to do that into the future. So 